manifest everything positive. Mm. Hey Kia Cuties, welcome back. My name is Kia and on this channel I focus on beauty, business, lifestyle, and spirituality. And today, um, if you see the title, it's about spirituality. So I am a fairy today. I'm a garden fairy. I'm recording this on Halloween. So this is me in the flesh. So it's not a costume. I'm a fairy every day. Now you just see the lens have been taken off. But anyway, so today we're going to talk about a passion flower. Don't y'all agree that passion flower is one of the most beautiful it is so beautiful, but it also, it's like, it's so much to look at that I get lost looking inside a passion flower. Like it's, it's like the prettiest flower ever, other than like lotus and of course sunflower. I love sunflowers. I didn't betray you. I didn't betray y'all. I didn't betray y'all sunflowers, but it's other flowers too. It's just, y'all know how we do it. We're going to talk about the medicinal uses first and then... We're gonna get into the spiritual uses of the passion flower. Okay, so the gender of the passion flower is feminine, the planet is Venus, and the element is water. And it looks like it just looks like a water plant. You know, you just can you just can see it floating. But so for the powers, it is good for peace, sleep, and friendships. Those are the main three. Now you can make a uh, make a tea out of the passion flower, and some of the medicinal uses is for it helps with nervousness, anxiety, insomnia, restlessness, agitation, relaxation, enhanced mood, and better sleep. So those are the main. Um, it says Native Americans have used passion flower to, to treat a variety of conditions. These include boils, wounds, earaches, and liver problems. And there's over 500 known species of the plants. So like my, the favorite one I like is the one with purple on the outside. But there, there are some with pink, red. There's so many, like I said, there's over, there's over 500 variants. But I just, that's like my favorite one to look at. It is smokable. So as you all know, there are plenty of herbs that are smokable other than ganja and tobacco there are so many in um passion flower is one of the ones that are smokable um some of the cures is insomnia and anxiety and that sounds like some of the things that marijuana cures well one of the some of the strands of marijuana helps with anxiety and insomnia you know so i've i've never smoked it i'm not much of a smoker but for what i've heard like it gives you a euphoric feeling um and it's just great to add to your smoke blends. You know, it could be with or, with, with or without marijuana, just, you know, and it's, I want to try it in a smoke blend one day. You know, I, I don't smoke that much, but I will, you know, every now and then, maybe like I, but I have used passion flower. I mainly use it as an incense, like I burn it on charcoal and I have used it to make certain oils. Not um, not necessarily a passion flower oil itself, but I used it as one of my ingredients, one of my herbs for the um, intention oil. And it worked good because, you know, I used it for one of the intentions that it holds, like peace, you know, just things like that. And it works. I love it. So here are some spiritual uses of the passion flower. So you can use in dream pillows and sleep satchets and place beneath your pillow to aid in restful sleep. You can also use it in a potpourri bag or a satchet and um, hang it in the home to calm to calm problems and troubles. Now I do use, um, as far as the satchet, like that's one thing that people don't really talk about and I did wanna show y'all some that I do um, I use lavender that way a lot because, you know, lavender is good just keeping the home like like that in sex. Or you can hang the um the whole um, bundles, you know, in the home just like we hang the eucalyptus in the shower to help open up, you know, your um to relieve congestion and just good for um clearing out mucus in your body. The eucalyptus in it because it's steam like kind of activates the eucalyptus. So you can use lavender the same way or you can add lavender to your eucalyptus bundles. 
you really can hang up any herb in your house. It just depends on what the herb does and what are your intentions for using it. But yeah, I hang up like bags of lavender around my home because it's okay for one, it smells good and peace and like love, friendship, the same thing like passion flower. So passion flower and lavender, they are good to use together. And um, as far as incense, I just like usually burn it on a charcoal with other corresponding herbs. So it's not necessarily used for passion. That's just the name of it. Like there are some passion herbs and I'll get into those later, such as, you know, Damiana, that's a great passion herb, love herb, patchouli. Those are some passion, like love herbs. But um, passion flower is like, the main relationship is used for it's like friendships, you know, if you're gonna use it for a relationship at all. You can carry it to attract friends, so. And you know, bring peace. There are other herbs, lots of herbs you can use for romance, like with rose, duh, it's like number one romance, flower, herb. It's the most powerful herb, flower. So, y'all yeah, forgot to show y'all this. Manifest everything positive. There is pleasure in the pathless woods by Lord Byron. That makes so much sense. There is pleasure in the pathless woods. So basically what I interpret that as is just like, you know, sometimes it seems like we don't have a sense of direction, but I feel like even when we seem like we don't have a sense of the direction, something is leading you. Something or someone, higher being, spirits, ancestors, God, or just maybe just your higher self, like your intuition. Something is leading you. The pathless woods, like metaphorically and literally, because I will literally go like hiking and go on a path in the woods, like with no direction. So, and also I do that, you know, in my everyday life. So I love it. So did y'all like this video about passion flower? Let me know. And I'm gonna see y'all on the next one. This fairy is out.